I'm your man, Dennis Pitzenberger, here at the 2018 Edelbrock Car Show, and Power Auto Media is here to bring you the cars, the people, the good times, the vendors, and everything that's going on this weekend. Pull the belts tight, let's go for a ride. You might think it's a Ford, you might think it's a Chevy, it's neither. It's a very cool thing with a Hemi and D-O-D-G-E on it. How you doing today, sir? I'm good. How you doing? You know what? What has been the reaction to the car? How many people think it's a Ford or a Chevy? Most. <laughs> most. I did it first when I saw it. This is a 29 Dodge uh, that I acquired in a trade for a motorcycle project that was going nowhere. Uh, what I ended up with it was a rusted shell of a, a body that was pretty well shot, and I thought, well, this is going to be a rat rod. And I thought, nah, I don't want to do a rat rod. So I taught myself how to do sheet metal work. and and uh, put a, found a Hemi to put in it, and uh, I ended up with a 29 Dodge Hot Rod, and I think it's pretty badass. What's your favorite part about the car? Hard not to say the engine, right? Everybody screams about the Hemi, but you know what? I get a lot of response from the 50 Buick dash that's in it. Well, Mark, always good to see you. It's uh, a car that I saw the first time. Where did I see it? I think you're affiliated with some TV show, right? Sticker Shock, I think it's called. I didn't say it. He did. More cars around the corner. All right, one of the very cool things that we see each year at the Edelbrock Car Show is the Hot Rodders of Tomorrow. How's the response? How's the competition, Greg? Oh, eight schools here today competing head-to-head. -head. It's just great. Talk about how cool it is to have the small engine program here because you know what? We got to get them in early, and if they want to go run a junior dragster or a go-kart or off-road, how has been the response with the small engine program? It's just a ball. Five years old and up, come play, take it apart, reassemble it, have fun. If people want more information about how to get their son, their daughter, their grandkids, or their school involved, where do we send them? HotRoderstomorrow.org. You heard the man. Each and every year, Edelbrock gives two people the lucky chance to be on the shirt for the next year. I've got one of those cars. We checked it out last year, and it's so cool to see Jose again and your little deuce. Jose, give everybody a little snippet, a little taste of what you got going on with the deuce. Okay, it's a 1963 Chevy Nova. It's got a 350, and it's 350 transmission with air ride and a four-leg suspension in the back. What's your favorite part of the car? What's the part you take the most pride in? The air suspension, you know? It, it rides really good. Do you lay it out every once in a while? I gotta put it on the... That, that's the way to do it. <laughs> lay it out in the ground where it should be. All right, Jose, I love the car. I know you love the car, but uh, there's one place you gotta be each and every year. Where is that? Edelbrock Car Show. All right, in the one-two punch of the cool t-shirts that everybody's walking around here at the Edelbrock Car Show, I've got Gary and Diane. Tell me about this cool shoebox because you know what? There is nothing more classic than a 56 Chevy. It's beautiful, but tell me the highlights. Well, it's a frame-off restoration. It's a 210 model, born as a six-cylinder when it came off the assembly line. And uh, obviously it's not now. We've got a nifty little 350 in it with a nice cam, makes some nice noise sounds good it'll it'll chirp when you want it to chirp we bought this car from a guy that went to high school and graduated in 1958. you know that's what makes these cars so special is their connection to them and the fact that we can highlight it what is it like being on the back of everybody's t-shirt walking around we just freaked out last year <laughs> absolutely freaked out As always, we would not be at the Edelbrock Car Show unless I talked to my man, August. How has the show been? How's the response? How much fun have you had today? Oh my God, this show is off the hook. We have about 350 or odd so cars here today. We've got kids area, we've got a food court, we've got vendors out the backside. We're even gonna have a cackle fest later. I always love to hear that. <laughs> Just don't get too close. They might throw a belt. You gotta be safe. Exactly. Let's talk about new products. Pro Flow 4, brand new product on the market. Sure. You guys are just about to launch. Exciting new product for guys that either want even better control of their fuel injection. It's just it's just cool to talk about new products. Tell me about it. Oh yeah, there are there are a lot of systems out there available for people. A lot of them are TBI style systems, which are glorified electronic carburetors. Pro Flow 4 is full sequential multi-port fuel injection with timing control. 
So you name it, it comes manifold rails, all assembled, throttle body on top, the whole bit. Comes full harness, ECU, everything. You have full control of it. It still has a self-learning, self-tuning capability, but with ProFlow 4 compared to ProFlow 3, there's a lot more stuff in the program itself that you have control over if you want to. What more could you ask for? Made in America. That's true, and I love saying that. Made in America, great people, and I'm part of the fun team. It's always great to be here at the Edelbrock Car Show. Once again, we got to thank everybody for participating in the 2018 Edelbrock Car Show. All of the vendors, all the supporters, the bands, the people, the places, all the fun we've had. Thank you so much for coming out and spending some time with us right here at Power Auto Media. And until next year, we'll see you soon.